So I want to get your perspective on this day one memo. You're familiar? Uh, you familiar with this? I am not. You're not familiar with this day one memo and you come here today? I should provide you a copy. According to the D Manhattan DA, the aim of the day one memo is to reduce Manhattan's over incarceration issue and to deliver safety and fairness for all. And so I ask you, you're, familiar, you're not familiar with the memo. The day one memo stated, the DA's office will not prosecute minor offenses that, quote, have no, have no impact on public safety, end quote. So let's talk about some of the things Alvin Bragg considers minor offenses. Resisting arrest. Can you tell me how not prosecuting this makes New York safer? Resisting arrest. I'd have to We're say. We're not going to prosecute it in New okay. York. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Did you ever ask law enforcement? Mr. Giangelo, how do you feel about that? How do your law enforcement officers feel about not prosecuting, resisting arrest? They weren't happy about it. That's well, you wonder why 1,400 officers left New York PD in 2022. Why in the hell would you work here? I'd go out into the suburbs where you, have, you can go out there and fight crime and be respected. You're not getting that in these large cities such as Manhattan. You want to defund NYPD a billion dollars in 2020, and you wonder why we are in the state of emergency we are in. Mr. Bragg laid out five sections of law that covers armed robberies and says New York will not prosecute them. In short, according to this memo, if you hold a gun to a clerk's face and ask, empty the, trash, empty the, the cash register, sir, we are going to take that, and that's going to be a misdemeanor, no big deal. That's no big deal. How do you feel about that, Mr. Kessler? What if I come over there and I put a, my pistol and screw it in your ear, and I don't say anything bad to you, and we're just going to say, Mr. Niles, that's just a misdemeanor here in the great state of New York? Well, that has happened to me. Well, sad, isn't it? How would you feel about that? I was pretty scared. Pretty scared. Yes. But we're going to consider that a misdemeanor here in, the great, in, in, in New York. It's unacceptable. 